Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another review. Um, today I wanted to review um, Threatfire. I know it's been a while since I've done Threatfire and um, decided to, you know, give it another go here. Um, I also want to tell you guys that um, regarding testing other suites, um, there's I'm really not seeing much of a point in retesting the same ones over and over even if they come out with something kinda new unless they come out with something radically different like they add a major component or something to it they're not gonna do much better than what they already um, are especially if all, all they're relying is on um, signatures so I'll just kinda give you guys a heads up on what I'm gonna be looking for um, especially if you guys request something so um so you can see threat fire is on I'll you know do the little update now the one thing I w did change and I'm letting you guys know this is I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna do five links with the security level to four and five links or so with the security level to three which is where it comes where, where the default is the reason I'm gonna do this is um, right now this PC is only being uh, secured by threat fire and technically it's not made to do that it's made to run alongside an, uh, an antivirus um, so turning it up to four might give it a little bit better detection uh, capability so let's see what it can do These are uh, fairly fresh, so so you guys have. Uh... Okay, so it looks like it's got something there. So we will kill in quarantine. Not seeing anything from that one. As you saw, the first two weren't uh, found by Microsoft. Uh, this one was. Looks like I accidentally got these two twice. So I'm going to have to grab two more. This is number five. Okay, and I think this is number six. Looks like I got something there. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the settings back to standard. So we only saw it pop up twice when it was on 
that setting on 4. That one's not working. All right, so I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to go grab two more links. I'll be right back. Oh, just after I paused it, I had this pop up. Um, so I'm going to kill and quarantine this. And, uh, okay, now I'll be back. Okay, this also came up. So I'm going to quarantine that one. Now I got one here. Seems to be kind of happening constantly now. doesn't seem to be working anymore so that's kind of interesting I wasn't sure if I already got this one yep I already did looks like a uh, computer's kind of locked up so what I'm gonna do now is uh no there it is finally all right I'm gonna try to get two more now hopefully that doesn't pop up anymore be right back okay so I got two more links and this came up again so we'll kill that I don't think I ran this one. That one, of course, that one seems to be dead. So I'm going to go grab one more. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to go grab one more and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got one more and I'm trying to get it to go in there, but I keep getting this pop-up. So it's definitely working away here at uh, getting rid of the threats. It's just that there's a lot of stuff on here. So I'm going to let this run. Um, and there's really nothing to do here uh, for threat fire. I mean, I guess I could run a scan. It's got some kind of scan. Um, But I'm going to do that after I restart, and then um, then I'll be back. So instead of wasting your time watching me do stuff here, um, that's what I'm going to do to get rid of some of this stuff out of memory after this is finished, whatever it's doing. Okay, there you go. I'm going to restart the computer, and then I'm going to do a scan here, a, f a full scan, I guess. So I will be back. Okay, so I restarted. I did a uh, root kit, root kit scan, which is what you get with this product when you do a scan, and it didn't find anything. You don't get an antivirus scan uh, because you have to download it. So um, it didn't find anything, like you saw. And uh, now we're going to do our scan with our regular stuff. I also want to let you guys know that um, Sunbelt Software, which uh, owns PC Tools, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, no, PC Tools is owned by Semantic. No, never mind. Um, well, anyway, Sunbelt Software, which has that Viper uh, AV, was uh, bought out by a company called GFI. And uh, info that I could find is that basically GFI makes mail server and that type of security. And now um, they actually get the Viper engine to use in their suites normally or in their security systems. Normally they use things from Bitdefender, Kaspersky, and uh, so forth and so on. So we'll see what kind of Viper turns out to do in the future. Um, 
hopefully you know this will give him opportunity to get even better so now uh, I'm gonna install Malwarebytes and then um, I'm gonna do a quick scare and we'll see what happens so I will be back uh, when that's done see you then hey everybody um, so welcome back I wanted to uh, actually I'm gonna change something up I got a request to uh, test threat fire like I'm doing and I also got a request to test remove any which is a piece of software which says they can clean up an infected computer and I know that this computer is infected so I want to kind of turn this into a dual test here so let's set up this remove any and see what it'll do so it's gonna ask me to reboot and I'll be back when it reboots. Okay, so Windows is uh, restarting now. And uh, see what happens. I also uh, went and tried uh, Komodo Cloud Scanner, and um, they still have some more improvement to work because I didn't find anything yet. So, uh, just that I gave it a try. That's why you're seeing this live PC support pop up. Okay, so let me find that. Uh, remove any so let's do a simple mode scan and uh, I'll be back when this is done okay so I did do a scan with simple mode but in the end all it gave me was the option to submit the report to the company and have them analyze it um, and that was it so now that I did a full scan it looks like it found um, a couple of more programs here and I guess if you hit Google here and hit find it will uh, search for it I suspect Okay, so it says this is uh, found by heuristics. This is off of their website, too. And also this one. Okay, and I was also detected by Dr. Webb. So that's kind of nice. So now let's see, what can I do with these? Okay, let's try scanning again. I've never used this program before, so I'm not sure where I'm going here with it. So uh, let me pause it. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, I can't remove them. Okay, well, that's useful. Alright, so back to scanning with Malwarebytes, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so. Uh, Malwarebytes to uh, finish scanning here and it found eight things. Let's see what it found. It looks like we have something in memory too. Uh, Trojan, registry value, and a good amount of files here. So we were gonna remove all these. Okay, that one's delete on reboot, so I'm gonna have to reboot. And that one's also delete on reboot, and so is that one and that one. So I'm gonna reboot and I'm gonna do another quick scan with Malwarebytes and if it doesn't find anything then I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be back when that's done. Either one depending on what happens. Alright, see you then. Okay, so I ran another scan with Malwarebytes and it looks like it found uh, four more things. 
so I'm going to remove these. Hopefully they'll actually be quarantined. No, it doesn't look like some of these can be quarantined. Um, especially these right here. For some, for some eyeball reason, some of these showed up last time if I remember right. So I'm going to reboot one more time and then I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro and we'll see what that finds. Okay, so uh, Hitman Pro finished scanning and all I found was a tracking cookie. So um, that's it really. You can see that as good as Threat Fire is, it's not a replacement for an antivirus and uh, remove any pretty much didn't do much of anything. So um, that's it for this review. Hope uh, you guys liked it and uh, we'll talk to everybody later. Take care.